Master Strawberry a clear. Master Put it in there right there. Clear! Clear. All right, we primed it once. Let's give it a couple more. This is, you know, this thing's kind of fickle. One. 479er starts right up every time. And then closed. All right. There you go. So this is centered. You know the procedure. That's one, two, one, two three, three, four. It's got to start. Okay, Eddie, you got me? Gotcha. So adjust me right here if I'm too loud or whatever. And then here's your squelch. All right. Boom, boom. Hear that hiss in the background? Yeah. So you kind of adjusted. Cool. While we're warming up, flip up comp two. Here's your volume. Loud and clear. California. Automated weather observation. And we'll listen up. One, five, four, eight, Still gonna wait for green. Wind, so why don't we get four, Salinas zero, in here? Zero, three. As we're listening. One, zero. So now nearest, because it is nearest. One, eight, okay, airport Wattsville, so click it over and get Salinas. Uh, in there somewhere. Okay. You wanna go there direct to it? Enter it. Automated weather observation. And there it is. One, five, four, eight, Big knob toward you. Wind one four zero at Okay, zero, distance. Visibility point five, one, zero. Uh, 18. Sky distance. Clear. Temperature. Ground one, speed. Eight, Heading is one three eight. Point All right. one, three Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner eight. Niner niner eight. Marks. Density altitude five hundred. Right. Watsonville Municipal Airport. Let's get the temperature. Watsonville, California. As one eight. Automated weather observation. One five four niner Zulu. Wind one three zero at zero three. Three knots. Big deal. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one eight. Celsius. All right. Let's flip over one with a double arrow and get Salinas in there. Okay. So he's waiting for us. We got to get him first before we talk to Tower because we got to get information. Whatever. Yeah. All right, let's uh, do the next thing on the checklist, which would be our magneto check. Because engine gauge is green. All right, can I put the car beat up? Now that's next, so okay. let's magneto. do the magneto check. Now it's two, one. One, one, two. Now we that's do good. the car beat check. Let's just leave it up to preheat it so there's, you know, there's moisture in the air. And it should move. That's the, the way you see if it works. All right, let's go. Sprite clutch check. Split them. 
All right, what was the temperature again? 18. 18. So it's going to get warmer, so we can kind of fudge up to 20, maybe 226, 235. Yep. Yeah? 23. All right. I'm the one leaking now. So we're almost done here. We got to get friction, friction, born and light, and friction, friction, born and light. Oh, friction. Roll it up to 80. Yep. All right. Once you get 80, kind of relax. Let the clutch light go out. And then, when it goes out, check your light and your horn. So I want to roll it down manually and just give it a little nudge, see if it works. All right, yeah. Let's just hold off and make sure everybody's happy. Make sure your passenger's door's shut. Sometimes you're flying with passengers and you don't want this going on, because <laughs> they'll freak out. Check your door, because you've got to take charge pretty soon here. Doors closed. All right, lights are out. Green, green, green. Car beats good. We're on frequency, but we did turn it down a little. Why don't you pull it out and adjust the static for your comfort level? Trump, Trump. Watsonville ground radio. I need a check at Watsonville. Loud and clear. Once you get it to your liking, then push it back in. Okay, and we got set up for Salinas. We're going to listen. Radio check. Loud and clear. Okay. Are you happy with everything? Maybe landing light on. Yep. All right. All right. There's a ground vehicle somewhere, so we're, yeah, we'll pick up. There. Don't overfly anything. Maybe just straight across to the taxiway. The wind is really nothing. Three knots. Oh, so a real mellow pickup. As you're walking over there, you're checking this out, making sure you're real happy with your gauges. Here we go. Two stage pickup. We're heavy, so you know it's gonna be twenty-ish. This pad is no good with all this grass, so you don't want to go lateral. You're in a rush here, that would be tragic. You gotta just really find your CG and come straight up, because this is a bad pad. Gonna be left skid low because the main tank is over here. Beautiful, excellent. Why don't you kind of little baby turn, clear the taxiway, and head right over here so we can get back into ground effect because we're pulling a lot of power here. Don't run over there, just walk. Watch full traffic, airport ground vehicle 927 for runway. We'll go out here. We'll take a little pedal turn. We'll look around. Check your your gauges. Make sure you're happy with everybody. Tail's clear. So, a three knot wind, you're, you're looking like you're the master right now. See yeah. this? <laughs> Remember how hard this was earlier? Uh, yeah. All right, what do we got? Anybody? Golf cars. Nobody, there. nothing. So, there's a the car on a uh, niner. No factor. All right, quick gauge check. No That's wind, right. so you gotta it's walk slow, walk fast. Get that trend. Yeah. You can't yank all the power because you don't have any more. So it's going to take a little while longer to yeah. get <laughs> to get ETL. So nurse it. There you go. Wait. Good. Boom, boom. Let everybody know what's up. What happened to our radio? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. All you right. got me? Yeah. All right. Why don't you let Watsonville we're departing? I don't think I heard you. So we're departing... Uh, left crosswind departure to the east. Watsonville traffic helicopter, ZR Sierra Hotel. Left crosswind departure, 2-0, Watsonville. All right, so the heading that the GPS wanted us is 1-3-8. It's all 1-3. Oh, Boom. And then we're looking for the 45 traffic, and you're a little slow at 40 knots. You shouldn't be like that. Normal, 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 always. 
All right, pick up your 1-3, then look long. That's your heading. And we'll uh, keep an eyeball on Watsonville. How's your car beat? How's everybody? All right. Good. So let's go up to about 12, 13, 15, somewhere in there, so we can look over Salinas and find the airport. All right. Because uh, the airport on the sectional, see the yellow right here? That's the city. So we're going to see city, and then the airport's way down here. All right. So it's hard to find, and it's hazy. So if you stay on your heading and get some altitude, you'll be able to see it. It is 17 miles away. Now, if you'd like, I can reach around, or you can reach around and grab some trim, because that'll help a little bit in cross-country type flying. Yeah. So, fly and gently pull it up. Does that help at all? What does the trim exactly do? It's a bungee cord that helps the pressure here when you're in forward flight. Uh -huh. We have to push it down when we're coming to hover. But it'll pull. I would appear no factor. But it, it'll assist you. I don't know. Did you notice Blue anything? Not too much, but vehicles on the right hand kind of moves it at all. And we are all right. now don't waste time and money the and fuel. Go to your heading. Unless we're going to report Moss Landing. Yeah. We're at about 1,300. Yeah, so then you, you change stuff and you just fly low. Two airport ground vehicles are westbound on Taxiway Charlie. I don't know if we can hear him or not, but why don't you uh, come forward and click up COM2 while you're still flying and maybe adjust the volume on COM2. And we're going to listen. Still with Watsonville, but we're listening to Selena. These call signs with all readbacks. All hold short instructions. Where'd he go? We had him a second ago. It may be changing. They change every hour. They might be changing the hiatus. The we'll listen up. Waffle traffic air program, be glad and south on Texas Alpha Waffle. I bet that's what's happening. They're changing the ATIS right this Twin Tower information, Whiskey 15530. Winds 150 at 6. Visibility 10. Sky conditions clear. Temperature 18, 2.11. Altimeter 29er, 9er 7. Remarks, visual approach, runway 13 in use. Sorry. IFR departures, advise Tower that you are IFR at the hold short. VFR departures to Monterey or flight following, advise ground control or request and destination. Use call signs with all readbacks, all hold short instructions, and assign altitudes. Advise on initial contact, give information, whiskey. 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 All right, so whiskey, runway 13. Twin tower information, whiskey, 15. All right, and wind at 15, 6 knots. Yep, oh, and then 299 or 7. So, good. Why don't you uh, get rid of Watsonville? All right. Flip over to Salinas Tower right with your thumb. Then. With your thumb. This guy? Well, this thumb. Sure. But that's, you know, that's easier for you, okay. for the pilot. We'll just listen. 1,500, here's your distance, 14 miles. So your initial call up, you gotta come to your heading, look way long, and we're thinking about our initial call up, and it's Salinas Tower, helicopter, 200 yeah. zero tell. That's your initial, just to get his attention, because yeah. we, can't, we can't hear anything, right? Nobody else. Right now, 1-3, so here's, uh, one, we're heading 1-3. One three in that direction. So the airport looks like that. Right. Out there in space, 14 miles away. Uh huh. I actually can see it, but I I've been here. See it, I've but... been here before. So your initial call up. Tower will be around 10 miles. One. This 13. So around 10 miles. Uh huh. Why don't you say, uh, silly? So let's rehearse it. So call me up. Tower helicopter two nine zero zero hotel. Uh, yeah. Helicopter 2900, tell Salinas Tower, say request. Request. No, you gotta go back to 290. Uh huh. Helicopter 2900, hotel. And then uh, request for 
Oh, we want to. We're in. Where are we? We're 10 miles to the south or to the northwest or whatever landmark you got. Uh huh. We're 10 miles northwest. 10 miles northwest. Inbound for pattern work. Inbound for pattern work. With. With information whiskey. Yeah. So and he's, he, so let's try it again. So call me up and wake me up because I'm in the drinking coffee and eating donuts. Yeah. So call me up real clear and concise because you want to get your number in there. Clean Tower, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. We're 10 miles to the northwest at 1,500 feet. Inbound for pattern work with information whiskey. Boom, you're done. Okay. Uh, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel, Selena's Tower. Altimeter 29097, report three mile final one three. So, so <laughs> all, you don't say anything else but the report three mile final one three. <laughs> 2900 hotel. Report. One more time. Report. He told you to report three mile final, final one three. One three. Okay. That's all you say back. 2900 hotel. All right, you're coming up to 11. Uh, clutch light. That's clutch. retentioning as you're adding and subtracting. If you look straight ahead at your 12 o'clock, you're going to see 1-3. Way on the other side of the city. It's just yeah. a little nothing, but that's it. I think so. Lena Sauer, helicopter 200, zero, zero, hotel. There he is, right there. West. Yep, that's where you are. 300. 1003. Bound for pattern work with information. Nice and clear weekend. and concise. Uh, on the best, uh, we're going to do a... Uh, Nope. Don't step on anybody. He's talking to the tower now. That's the 142 on the go. Squad BFR. Right turn out approved. Oh. Okay. He's going to repeat uh, that back. Squad BFR right turn out approved. Uh, if, right. we, if we keep a spot code, we want to do another approach over here and then go to uh, Monterey afterwards. Six no, wait till they're done with their chat. Okay, so you're going to do another approach with uh, Norcal, sir? Uh, yes, sir. I'm planning on doing that. Uh, 6214. Okay, so do they know you're going out to the right BFR? Sure. Uh, yes, I told them I'm going to do a southwest sound uh, departure. So your, your call up, your initial is now 9 miles. Yeah. Okay, you got a gap there, I think. So why don't you get in there and wake him up? So Salinas Tower, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. We're 9 miles to the northwest at 1,300 feet. Inbound for pattern work with information whiskey. Tower. Let's hear what he said. He didn't get you. Say the whole thing over again. <laughs> Lena Tower, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. We're 10 mile, 9 miles uh, northwest at 1,200 feet. Inbound for uh, pattern work with information whiskey, Lena Tower. Helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel, Lena Tower. Proceed direct to the airport. Report one mile out. Proceed direct, report one mile out. Proceed direct, one mile out, 2900 Sierra Hotel. Okay. Cop 00 Hotel, you have traffic at 12 o'clock for seven and a half miles, ops direction 500 feet, is that Looking, looking, 2900 Sierra Hotel. Looking, Sierra, 2900 Sierra Hotel. Okay. Climb up a little bit so you can see the airport. When you see the traffic, you were say traffic in sight, 290 Hotel. So I got the runway made right now. You're looking right at it, 1 3. See that? Yes. So we got to find this traffic. He's seven miles out. And he said report inbound, report one mile. So just head in there, one mile. It's hard to know what one mile is, so he probably will clear you before we get in there. Let's see if we can see this traffic. How's your car beat? Good? Good. Now, uh, people forget they're doing all this talking and they're forgetting about flying the aircraft. Yeah. So the heck with him. You can, if you're busy, just tell him to stand by. That's what I'm specifically looking at. I was going to go on get the traffic, 12 o'clock. Still looking. They say direction too, like traffic 12 o'clock. Just said 12 o'clock, seven miles, that's all he said. So we'll see where we can find him. 12 o'clock is kind of our nose. 
Oh, I got him in sight, no factor. Where is he? He was just above the runway, just on the top of those hills there. Oh, I see. Okay, we're at Tower Helicopter. Oh, zero, zero, hotel, previous no factor. Oh, we have the traffic, just tell them, oh, traffic in sight, 2900 hotel. Traffic in sight, 2900 hotel. All right, you're lining up with 1-3, you can see it from here. Oh, I see it. And okay. what you're gonna do is report one mile final, 1-3. So just say one mile, reporting one mile final. What runway? 1-3. Yep. Reporting one. Yeah, but one mile is almost on top of it, you know. Do I say Salinas Tower or just? Yeah, always tower and always uh, your number. And then reporting one mile final, 1-3. You gotta get a, you gotta hear the clear. Cleared for the option. And on the go, he's going to tell you to make left or right turns. We don't know yet. Where's one mile? Maybe that uh, start of that little road that leads right into it? Yeah. Right now, we can be exact. We're six miles out. And you can see the airspace coming up. Yeah. Probably right up by the uh, auto mall. So this will tell you exactly. So when I enter the airspace, I don't have to make any special call. We already did. Okay. We're already in. So you're just lining up. Maybe start like a little baby descent, huh? Uh, no, I like to be high over the city because Salinas has a bunch of gangbangers and they'd like to shoot <laughs> us, right? So, high enough so you don't, you're don't you out of range. All right. <laughs> but you want to report final, so don't go wandering over here or here. You're coming in right straight at it, which is kind of what we did in the classroom. I kind of thought it would be 1-3, so that's why we did that. Reporting one mile final, 1-3. Yep. Tower. We gotta say, latest power helicopter two nine zero zero to reporting one mile final one three. You don't have to say Salinas Tower twice. Uh, Watson. Salinas Tower helicopter three five two eight signal five miles to the southeast. Requesting full stop with whiskey. Full stop with whiskey. Five miles out. They, he, you gotta wake him up. He didn't get any of that. Come to the L5 Echo Hotel, Salinas Tower, proceed direct to the airport, report one mile out. This guy's voice is kind of scratchy. It's uh, helicopter 3528 Tango. Helicopter 3528 Tango, Salinas Tower, proceed direct to the airport, report one mile out. So he didn't repeat everything back, he just said confirm, you know, or whatever. So, yeah. Alright, you are four miles out. So this Four miles. We're in the airspace now. So we got to do what he says. We can't just make it up. If we do want to go over there, we got to tell him. So stay at a thousand until you get a little closer. I don't want to be too low over the, okay. uh, the friggin' East Salinas. This is all kind of a gangbang country here. So every now and then you glance at your GPS, now we're three and a half, so probably, uh, he's going to tell you, anyway, he sees you on his radar. But if you don't hear him, and you're coming up to your one mile, don't be exactly, because uh, you might get stepped on then. Yeah. So as you get close to your one mile, you say, Salinas Tower, helicopter 290, zero, tell reporting, one mile final, one three. Now we want the option, he probably forgot about our request, but we want the option, because we want to do pattern work. Then he'll tell us the direction of turns. I can't hear you. What's the matter here? Oh no. Oh, there you go. There you go. Something's something's wonky here. Got me, got me testing. Yeah, I got you. There we go. This is a little loose here. You... Oh. Okay, right. you're now two miles, two and a half miles. Let's do our pre-landing so, checks, all right? Get that out of the way. Lights are out, green. Pull and get okay. your reach around and get your trim down. All right. Don't pull the mixture, please. There Good. you go. All right, you are now two and a half. So, so reporting one mile. So final. just figure one mile's right up in here somewhere. Yeah. And now you can start a little mini descent. Yeah. Okay, so guys coming tower. in. Guys coming in final. Like up two eight Tango. And then a jet bus with your issues. Caution. Wind one four zero eight. Roger, thank you, sir. Don't be too worried about it. It's somewhere up in here. Yeah. We're 41 mile final. And then do one I end with three. Salinas Tower? One three. Salinas Tower, helicopter, boom, boom. Reporting, one mile final, one three. Okay, that's about one mile. Let's give him a call. Salinas Tower, helicopter 2900 Hotel. Reporting one mile final, one three. 
You don't say another word till you're on the left downwind. So, whatever you'd like to do, here's another helicopter crossing in front of us. Why don't, you, why don't you aim for the numbers, all right? All right. So you can be precise. So don't be too low over these guys' backyard. So you red over red, you're kind of low. Yeah. See this other so, helicopter coming in on uh, taxiway? Slow us down a bit. Yeah, yeah, you're flying. Imagine you're by yourself, so you got to go down to the runway. Might be able to pick up a windsock or a flag on a golf course. They said it was uh, six knots. There's the windsock. It's coming right at us. Yep. From like uh, a little bit of flag. Yeah, one five. I see. A little that. flag on the green there. All right, just walk up there as pretty as you can. Come to a five foot hover over the numbers. Little inputs. It's always windy over here, so you gotta gotta be ready for your. Uh, there's the sock. Really nice. Check your RPM. Everybody's still happy. There's that wind kicking you, so bring it in there. Well, five feet, not one foot. Bring it in just a little bit. Yeah, looking good. Remember, you're not gonna. You don't want to yank everything you got. You want to make sure everything's happy. All right. Before you take off, you do a pre-takeoff check of all your stuff. All right. Come down to five, so you have a good ground effect. All right. Look at your gauges. How they look? Crowd gauges are green. Okay, that's that little wind, six knots coming yeah. on you over here. So look long. And he said, on the go, make left traffic. You don't say another word till you're on the downwind. There you go. 40, Wait for it and a little bit of left pedal for trim. See they're out of whack yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Good. 50, 22. Good. And as big a runway it feels like we're not moving. It's freaking <laughs> huge. Um, there's the VOR, old school right there. Yeah, all right. There's your tower. Stuff I read about in the book, here it is. Now, um, their altitude is only 84 feet above sea level. So it's 7 to 8, just like at home, on yeah. your pattern. So you come out here, you do your bay of crosswind, downwind, beam the tower, you'd say, Salinas Tower. Downwind, 1-3. Left, oh. left downwind, 1-3. Because you got to hear the words again, clear for the option. All right? So be thinking about it as you're doing your normal, normal. Yeah. So how far out should I go for the crosswind? Your normal pattern. This is perfect right here. 400 crosswind. You're looking for 7 to 8 on the downwind. So I'll get your uh, attitude in there. If he talk, he, sometimes if he's not doing anything, he'll talk to you first. But usually you'll want to let him know when you're established on the left downwind, where you are and what. All you say is left downwind one three. That's it. Salinas so Tower. Parallel. And trim. There you go. Level me off. All right, let them know what you're, where you are. Salinas Tower helicopter two nine or zero zero hotel. Uh, left downwind one three. Salinas. All right, lights are out. Go right into your pre-landing check. Wait, are wait for his uh, cleared. Nothing. Helicopter. Zero, zero, hotel, you're number one, one, three, clear for touch and go. Clear for touch and go, one, three, two, nine, boom. Clear for touch and go, one, three, two, nine, zero, zero, hotel. So get into it. Down, collect. If you're a little high, so take a peek off your shoulder. High, low, fast, slow. So fix, fix, fix. See, you kind of ended up a little bit high, so yeah. so what? Trim. Kind of nose down, a little help you out here. Be thinking, be thinking way ahead. Don't wait around. You know, you know you're going to be descending down, so you can you fly your aircraft. He's just the tower. What did he, I forgot. He cleared us for what exactly? Touch, he's, he's calling it touch and go. That's the same as option. 
touch and go, clear for the option, cleared for a slow and go, whatever. So you got pretty good wind here, so we're really baby it down to five. What we're going to do when we come down and stop is we're going to do a series of quick stops down 1-3, all right, just for practice. Let's come down to a nice hover, regroup. Beautiful, this was a nice approach, even though you were high at the start, doesn't matter. Left pedal, five foot. All right, look long, take a deep breath, and why don't you get uh, on the go, and we'll do a quick stop midfield. You call it down, or I'll, we'll do it together. That's right. enough, so start walking slow, trim. Walking a little faster, looking long. There's your 45, 50. Why don't we pop up and do it like an air taxi float? 50, then lower, 50, 50. Right. We go all the way to friggin' King City like this. Right. But we're gonna do a quick stop. Are you ready? Three, two, two one. Four. Gentle. Down, right, hit more aft. Down, right, aft. There it is. Now you wanna fix it. Lift, level, and walk down. Don't push it down, walk it down to five feet. Then we're gonna do another one. Something's kind of wonky here. All right. All right, let's uh, do one more time the end. So let's expedite a little, walking slow, walking fast, looking long. Make sure you're in trim, it'll be uh, easier to handle. All right, ready? Same thing, pop up? Yeah, pop a little, then lower and float. So you know, keep popping. Yeah. Three, two, one. Gentle, down right and hit the brakes. Ah, there it is. Now lift level, gently walk it down. Don't push it down, walk it down to five feet. We're in the dead dead man's curve right here, so yeah. gentle. All right, good. How do we look? All right, get us a green. On the go left traffic, you don't say anything. So we're on the downwind. Tower citation 747, kilo echo, holding short, runway 13, ready for departure, VFR eastbound. Trim. You gotta get that trim in order, because that will mess with you on a windier day. That'll be really yes. difficult. Just your, uh, your strings. Short runway 137, go ahead. Alright, we're on 400, we'll do a crosswind. And be thinking what you want down here, not, not just immediate. You're already down, thinking the whole thing. You're way ahead of this aircraft. Yeah. yeah. So there's a citation, you'll be able to see him on uh, taking 1-3 as you're... 747 Kilo Echo, he's found departure approved traffic on a, a wind turn across wind as a helicopter left close traffic that runway 1-3, clear for takeoff. For takeoff, runway 1-3, we have the helicopter in sight, 7 kilo. So as you come around, you're going to eyeball and still climb because we want that 7 to 800. You'll see the big jet right there. Might be some wake turbulence. Yeah, look at that guy. <laughs> so, get a hold of your aircraft. You're not climbing. You want, you're only 500. We want to be normal. So, when you're beam the tower, you, you remembered what you're going to say. Left, downwind, 1-3. Now we got the... It says use caution, wake turbulence. We got the... Use the caution. Got the departing in sight. They don't have to say that unless he tells you. Salinas Tower, helicopter 2900 Hotel, left downwind 13, Salinas. Boom, 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 yeah, good, good, good spot. Welcome to the Five Echo Hotel, Salinas Tower, proceed direct to the airport before one mile. No, it wasn't you. So you can't do anything yet. Uh, he may not have heard you. Uh, tell him again, we're left downwind 1-3. Salinas Tower, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel, left downwind 1-3, Salinas. Might be your mic. Helicopter Sierra Sierra Hotel, you're number one right, one three, clear for touch and go. Cleared, clear for touch and go, 1-3. Cleared for touch and go, 1-3. 290 Sierra Sierra Hotel. Good. Take a peek at it. Let me get a call requesting frequency change. Good. All right, don't hit the brakes out here. Just keep the ball rolling right down to your spot. Real mellow. Station 7 Kilo Echo. Brakes change proof. 7 Kilo Echo, good day. 
Right. Three. But there's golfers here, you gotta watch that they don't freaking <laughs> pop it up and fail rotor. Four. Now, see the parked uh, helicopters there with a windstock? See past it, there's a a square with an H in the middle of it. Yeah. It's a little darker uh, kind of asphalt. That's yeah, I see it there. On the next downwind, we're going to request helipad. So we'll review that a little bit. First of all, I'll do this. The uh, wind has picked up a little bit. I can see, see the flags are kind of stiff. I don't know. I think you're pulling. Your, uh, my uh, you're pulling that out every now and then. you got some static going on. All right, wake up everybody and just come to a nice mellow stop. Little gauge check. How does it look? So let's do an air, another air taxi, do a quick stop, all right? So look long, walk slow, walk fast, trim it up. Pedals. Wait for your 45.50. When you get it, you pop and float. There's your 45.50, so you pop up. And you load a little bit. So you're, here's your 50, 50. Yep. Yep. Whenever you're ready. What if we just saw an aircraft taking off this other reciprocal? Right. So let's do Three, a little quick stop. Two, one. Down right out. Two, two and a half miles good, two, good, five, good. Eight. A little more gentle. You don't want to get that two, pop. Two, one, four, two, Swiss tower. You want to walk it down. Two, four, five, nine, five, nine, five, nine, two, one, four, two. All right. Gauge check. Good. Look long and let's add you. Just because we're smart, we're checking that other runway. Remember, you don't dive bomb and go. You got to kind of gradually and then you trim it up. Now, this time we're going to do a normal everything. And then when you beam the tower, you're going to say Selena's Tower, helicopter 2900, zero, zero, tell. Left downwind 13, request helipad. I don't hear you. What's the matter? Uh, this is keeps popping out. Your, huh. your setup here is pulling things up. Yeah. I think it's your your seat. I think it's trapped under your seat and there's it's pulling it out. Uh, okay. So we'll monitor that. So anyway, left downwind one three requesting helipad. All right. All right. Inside outside. Boom boom boom. Crosswind here. See, so, yeah, there's nobody here. It's just with one helicopter <laughs> and that jet. That's it. Kind of, fun, kind of fun talking to this guy. Yep. We should plan a tour. There's your wind. <laughs> so it's picking up. So be thinking about your requesting helipad on this downwind. Your left downwind 1-3, that's where you are. Uh-huh. Requesting Request helipad. Helipad. Do I need to close with the Salinas? Or? No. No, you don't need to. So you can get it out of the way early. Salinas Tower, bottom boom, left downwind 1-3, requesting helipad. Salinas Tower, helicopter 2900, hotel. Left downwind 13, requesting helipad. Park up to 290 Sierra Hotel, Roger, helipad clear to land, wind 1408. Helipad clear to land. Helipad clear to land, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. So we don't go right here to helipad, we have to land into the wind, right? Yeah. So there's the helipad where that truck is at the dark black, and the H is in the middle of there somewhere, it's kind of all bleached out. Yeah. So same pattern, same 13, only this time you're going direct helipad. So don't overfly 13, fly parallel. But uh, you're clear to helipad. Okay. Any direction, but let's not be too high. So lights are out, gauge is green, car beat full. And you can start a descent and line up to the helipad. Now you're not allowed to go anywhere else now but the helipad. So you're and, uh, so pretty uh, high, so let's get down, down. To make this a, uh, this GPS approach, a circle to land, uh, right. circle to... Yeah, how you are? Yeah. One, so let's descend then, right uh, here. Uh, departure. Uh, south, 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 south. Came up right. too high. Uh, stay type of a GPS approach. Well, let's drawing. not overfly these boys. Uh, we're on uh, or the GPS runway. You can line it up right with the helipad. Right. Into the wind. Kind of ended up a little on the high side. Thanks, appreciate it. Dude, so let's dash a little bit over here and kind of go over to it. Don't overfly the boys. This is one heck of a steep approach. See how harder you made it for yourself? Yeah. For two circles south, east of the airport, for a left downward. Now, if you're staring at the helipad, you're going to be just too fast. So, down, right, level. This is level. 
and you have to crawl down because now we are uh, doing the real steepy. So bring in your power and slow me down like this. Pick up the windsock and go right to the middle of the path. Set the it down. The airport fell that one runway one three report. Don't drop out of the sky. So bring it in. Bring it in. Slow, slower, slowest. There you go. Now you're level. It'll do it by itself now. Get down in ground effect and then fine tune your landing spot. It is windy, so don't lose that heading. We're going all the way to the ground here. Hey, that's wind. Fix it, fix it, get it over there. Good. There's your helipad. You're only clear to the helipad, right in the middle. Relax, look long, get in the middle, and just ease this bugger down into the wind. Once you're stable, just let the trend go right to the ground. There's your thing coming loose again. There you go, nice. Don't be moving to the right. That, that right's no good, you'll roll it over. Yeah. You gotta work it right down to the... Uh, so the give me 75, so roll it down to 75. All right. Thumb toward you. Then you can friction the collector. Get some air in here. Don't get into yellow, of course. Relax. But this was a little sloppy because of the wind. Yeah. The wind is not six anymore. I bet it's about eight or nine. Yeah, I thought I was closer to the ground and I was still drifting to the yeah, right. Yeah, you can't drift. Could you touch it and then boom? Yeah. All right. Friction the bugger. All right. Let's come forward. Can we see it even? Is it a friction? Yeah. Yeah, if you want, but it probably won't hold. Out real quick. I think you're sitting on this tight. Can pull it out a little bit. Uh, Probably, I think it's tight. So this, this is the tightness here. This one right here, though. This one, I think, that's popping out. I should uh, get out the bottom a little bit. Let's see this. This is your tight cord right and, here. This uh, is pulling it out. Yeah. Just get a little three, slack one. up there. That's the one for two, right? See, that's that's pretty staticky bad, huh? Boom, 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 boom. So this under the seat has to be adjusted too. It's, it's pulling every time you lean back. Yeah. Sorry about that. Kind of funky. Got up. All, All right. right, let's see what time it is. Okay, good. Uh, we can barely see, so hit message. Uh, navigation, can we see it even? No. So we forget about it. So Watsonville, we know the ATIS is still there for Salinas. Let's listen. Remarks, digital approach, runway 13 and use. I think it's changed. IFR departures, advise tower that you are on IFR at the hold short. VFR departures to Monterey or flight following, advise ground control of request and destination. Use call signs with all readbacks, all hold short instructions, and assign altitudes. Advise on initial contact, you have information, whiskey. Okay, nothing's changed. Still have whiskey. All right. Salinas tower information. So we don't need him anymore. We can flip flop to Watsonville. We know it's sitting there. I can't see it, but we have to assume. Watsonville's there. That's too bad about the GPS. The 479 you can really see easy. Yeah. All right. Now is the time you take a drink. If you have to take a leak, you shut it down. You know, whatever, because we're, we're at the helipad. Yeah. Um. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, shut our doors, frictions off, roll it up, ready to depart. Uh -huh. so we're not going to pick it up yet. We're going to say, Salinas Tower, helicopter 2900 tell helipad with whiskey. That's who we are, that's where we are. <laughs> and then we're going to tell them what we want. We want, we, we want to go to Watsonville, but we don't want to go that way. We want our left downwind departure or our right downwind departure. He, he might tell us what to do. Yeah. We'll tell him what we want. Runway 13, and then we're going to... That's the jet behind us. Norco will do the approach to the guy here. So we want a left downwind... Departure. Left Requesting. downwind 13, or just left downwind? No, from the helipad. We're not 13, we're helipad. So helipad... So the, he knows what the wind's doing. Yeah. So, so a left downwind from the helipad. Requesting left down departure. 
to, to Watsonville. We have whiskey. So, Venus Tower, helicopter 290 hotel. Uh, helipad with whiskey, requesting left on wind departure. To? To Watsonville. Watsonville. Right. Okay. He's gonna tell you, you know, hold traffic, hold departing traffic. Whatever he tells you to do, you gotta repeat it back. Okay. Right? So this guy's in the pattern, he's gonna come around. This guy is holding 1-3, he may take off. How's your gauge, is everything good? Yep. Is good? Put it up to 80. Now let me get my door. Take your frictions off. Alright. I might just tape that here. Well, sure it's the thing is this. This is pulling this out, because it's too tight. Not this one, but this one. Hold short one three. So he's so we gotta wait for a little bit. So let's just sit here and wait for the door open. Because he's holding that jet for this landing aircraft. So there's yeah. you got two in front of you. We could request right down with departure and that will be with you over here. Yeah. But he probably wants us to wait. So we'll wait. It's really not that big of a deal in class Delta. Charlie's a little more because you got to get uh, approach control in. But we got to contact another guy. We might go to Monterey sometime and you can talk to NorCal. They're class Charlie, right? Yep. In fact, why don't you review that for next time? We'll review class Charlie. Uh, and we'll go inbound for class Charlie. Same All kind right. of thing. But we don't go to tower. We get the ATIS, we go to approach control. Then tower. All right, there's this guy. Oh, he's way out. Now, class Delta, you you have to have certain uh, visibility and cloud clearance requirements in Delta. You got to have the three mile visibility, and you have to have a thousand foot ceiling. If there's clouds, you got to stay five hundred below, a thousand above and 2,000 horizontal from a cloud. So there's rules in this airspace. We have to have radio communication. We don't need a transponder. All right, this guy's on short final, and then the jet's going to take off. Tower Bonanza 713 Tango Tango, ready for takeoff on runway 8. Right down, one departure. Runway 8. 713 Tango Tango, swing tower. Hold short runway 8. Well, so he didn't want to taxi all the way to here, even though that's he requested that, and he he's letting him have that. Here's a little Cessna right here. So now you have three aircraft you have to wait for. This guy's touch and go. He's going to clear this guy. All right, we might be here all day waiting. So why don't we get ready? So it hits frictions off, and we'll get our request in. All right. Right now. Uh, so roll it up, and get ready to go, and then we'll tell them. So they tower. Helipad with whiskey. Request to left downward departure Watsonville. He's going to make us wait, but anyway. Selena Tower, helicopter 290 Hotel. Helipad with whiskey. Requesting left downwind departure to Watsonville. Citation 429 Mike Romeo, runway 13, equipped for takeoff, traffic half a mile uh, upwind, southeast bound is a uh, Cessna. 13, clear for takeoff, Nine away, Romeo. Now he's going to talk to you, hopefully. Talk to Sir 290 Sierra Hotel, Sinus Tower, uh, say again. Say again, so tell them who you are, the whole thing. Sinus Tower, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. Helipad with whiskey, requesting left downwind departure to Watsonville. Hug up to Zero Sierra Hotel, hold uh, position. Hold position. Hold position, 290 Sierra Hotel. I knew he was going to hold us, because he got this guy taken off and then the guy on eight. So I'll get some air in here so we don't die, all right? <laughs> but be ready uh, when you get your permission. And he'll tell you what to do and you repeat that back, of course. All right. There'll be some wake turbulence behind the big boy. As soon as this nose wheel comes up, there's your turbulence. And right there. So it's coming this way because that's the wind. I was gonna this guy, he's next I think. But we're ready. Alrighty. Green. Dark.
With the big boy. Holy cow. Nope. Citation on the 1400 Mike Romeo contact. I'll go to departure. Over to departure, 9 Mike Romeo. Nice one, just departure. 4 2, contact, no cut departure. This is now 1 4 2, contact, no cut departure. Thank you, robot. Hook up to Zero Sierra Hotel. Telepathic for takeoff. North, the westbound departure is approved. Remain uh, north of runway 26. Remaining more, uh, north of 26. Good north departure. What is it? North, remaining north of 26. So tell them. North 416? North of 26. Staying north of 26. This is my helicopter uh, 290 Sierra Hotel. Swing this tower. I catch it. It's Lace Tower Helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel cleared for telepad remaining north of 26 for the rest departure. All right, let's pick, pick it up. Bonanza 713 Tango Tango, runway 8 to clear for takeoff right now. Uh, he's taking off here, so he wants us to remain west, uh, remain north. Uh, so let's pick up, take off and go. So we a little missed our little window there, so. Light, pick up. There you go. All right, let's on the go and with a quick. Now we gotta go this way. We're gonna take off and go. So aim for the. Where are we going? Aim for the bowling pin right there. Okay. Try to get some air, speed. We want you to remain north of 26, which is right over here. 4550, we'll make a turn. All right, right about here. Two across. See, this is 26, the yeah. other inner. So we're going to remain north of 26. That's what he wants us to do. All right. Now, the reciprocal of uh, 130, which we got here, is Watsonville, which is uh, 210, I believe. So well, once we pick up that heading and climb over the city, so give me a good climb. Here we go. I will head to Watsonville. I couldn't really make out what he was saying there. He was yeah, he was talking quick. So if you're by yourself, you got to say, uh, student pilot solo, say again, please. Something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, 130, the reciprocal is uh, three, three, three zero somewhere in here. So you got the boss landing in the distance. So Watson was kind of over here somewhere. All right, let's check our gauges because uh, we were kind of expedited there. Everybody good? Feels good? You want to get your trim up? You can play with that. Just don't pull the mixture. And the seven one three Tango Tango contact. No kind of departure. Three Tango Tango. Looking around. And you know, you're looking for whatever you want to cruise at altitude wise and you're heading. So I know that, uh, you know, you're never supposed to rely completely on the tower for other traffic, right? right? But right. at the same time, they do call it out, right? They you, did on you the way. Hope. You hope they do. Never rely on that, but uh, they hate, huh? That's why we looked, uh, we looked around, you know, we always got an eyeball beforehand because they make mistakes too, of course, just a guy. Yeah. How many guys do they have in there? One or two? They have two, and they they probably have quite a crew that that uh, everything everything that's done in there is on tape. Also, so if you uh, have a problem, you can go back and review the tape. How do you access the tape? They have it. Got to request it. A little prison right there. Cal approach Bonanza 713 Tango Tango is off Salinas. Uh, we are Yankee at Monterey. Still with Salinas. Nice and tower. We'll switch it. We're not going to overfly that. <laughs> so when you clear the airspace, then we're out of their jurisdiction and we can request frequency change, like we're going to go to Watsonville. Uh -huh. So if you'd like to stay with them a little longer, there's people coming in. But. The nice part about it is uh, we can get ready for Watsonville. Maybe we know the way. There's Moss Landing. So it's in a tower helicopter, blah, blah, blah. Request frequency change? Yeah. Sometimes they give it to you, sometimes they don't, so you can request it. What does that mean exactly? Well, you want to get rid of him and, and wake up the, your next guy. Oh, I see. So we're just asking, like, can we stop listening to you? So we, no. We want to change you. It's kind of a common courtesy thing. Tower, that's a 4320 alpha descending through 3300. But we'll hang with him in case there's people coming in. I got an aircraft right there. Yep. Left traffic for one three report midfield. Two good options. So we're not too anxious to leave him, but that's just an option we can do. Maybe we'll stay with him because of him. 
Now, if we're going a long distance, say we're going to Oakland or somewhere, you know, we're going to Portland right now. Yeah. We would request flight following, which is uh, a radar service. And we'd come down and squawk the code. That's why I want to take you to Monterey, maybe. And we can actually do that. Focus for zero zero delta air traffic up to your right for half a mile to west. Question eastbound 2600 to assess that frequency change of traffic in sight. Traffic in sight. Traffic in sight 290 zero hotel. So he said frequency change approved, so we can change frequency on our own. So cool. Said nothing else, huh? You can say uh, frequency change, uh, thanks for the help, or something like that, because okay. he did, you know, he wasn't yelling at you. So you can say 290 zero hotel, uh, frequency changing, thanks for the help. 290 zero hotel, frequency changing, thanks for the help. Two clicks is all you get. <laughs> so with your thumb, here, Watsonville. There it is. And we have Watsonville to stand by. Let's listen. Marks. Density altitude 700. Watsonville Municipal Airport, Watsonville, California. Automated weather observation 1641 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 19 Celsius. 9.14 Celsius. Altimeter 2 Niner. Niner 8. For marks, density altitude 700. All right, boom. So we got calm wind, so we'll use whatever we want. Um, Temperature is about the same. Went from 18 to 19, so you know it's going to get warmer. Yep. Uh, now we're we're off of his control, radar control, because they now have radar. So we're on our own now. We got to be heads up. He right. told us about that departing traffic, but no factor. So they're about six miles to the southeast. I think we're more than that. Uh, about seven. So that, no, this is Salinas still. Let oh, me, let me put right. Watsonville. Put Watsonville in there. There it is. Because of the shadow, we can see it a little bit better. 11 miles. Make a call. So if you want 11 miles, or the slough, or Moss Landing, you know, wherever you are. Yeah. But you're 11 miles to the southeast, yeah, whatever. You're bound for landing, Watsonville. But the, the big deal now is we are without a controlling agency, so we're on our own. We have to be really heads up. Yeah, we know Watsonville is a lot busier. They used to have a tower here many, many years ago. But no mob. Highway 68 right here. Whatever to the south. Up. Yeah. And at the slew, you know, slew to the south or whatever. Any call you want to make, just as long as you're accurate. Okay. 10 miles. Watsonville traffic helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. We're 10 miles to the southeast at 1,000 feet inbound for landing. Watsonville. So, uh, RV, which is fast, part departing two zero. So we'll be looking if he comes this way. He didn't say what he was going to do. So that's Salinas. You know, at the at, at the helipad, I, I kind of uh, knew because of two six was I was using eight. He was going to tell us to stay clear of runway two six eight. You know, because it was right in front of us. Yeah. So we'll review that a little bit when we get back in the classroom of what he was actually saying and what he wanted to hear back from you. Yeah. If he was really busy and he gave you that request and you didn't come right back, uh, that screws everything up. You yeah. gotta, it, it's a it's a dance and you gotta play ball with them. Stay at a thousand and above over the slew because that's the rule. But you didn't understand, so that was good that you didn't just jump in there and say something that you didn't know. You say, say again, please, so you're clear. Yeah. If you were by yourself, you'd have to say, this tower helicopter 290 uh, say again, please, uh, student pilot solo, if you're very unclear what he's talking about. Yeah, just let him know. Yeah. That you're figuring it out. Then he'll say, just hold position. But what he wanted you to do is take off into the wind, that's what we wanted, and then do a a downwind departure to the west is what he cleared us for. Uh -huh. He wanted us, though, to say north of 26. 
And so we have to tell him that. Because he had a guy taken off on that runway. That's where the diagram comes in handy. See, we were at the helipad. Here's 26. So we took off and turned immediately to avoid yeah. overflying that runway. That's pretty much the story. Yeah, for the most part, it felt comfortable. I mean, I came in steep in the helipad and... Yeah, but it worked. You did it, you did it, so it worked fine. Landing was a little rough, but... That one landing, you just kind of moved because it, it was windy there. It was not six knots. Yeah. Whiskey was old. I think it, it was uh, freshened up to maybe nine knots. So you can see on your first solo, we don't want the, to be gusting to 25 because you won't have any fun. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're going to limit you to, to win the early stages so you don't get in trouble. Kind of scratchy. What are they growing down there? I think those are lemons. That's strawberries. Watch the little traffic rating check. You're loud and clear, homie. Loud and clear. So this is you by yourself, trying to figure out what you're going to do. Fair left downwind. Yeah, you're way ahead of it. Looking for the traffic. The RV is departed somewhere. I don't know. It didn't say anything. Just departed. So as you get closer, you can kind of see you're five miles out now. And you can kind of see where the runway is on the other side. So you've yeah. been here before. Yep. Make another call. Is this about a good time? You've got to start taking charge of the aircraft and not uh, ask for for directions or for what I, what should I do next. You've got to do it yourself and, and right. then stand in front of the fire. Watsonville traffic helicopter 290 Zero Sierra Hotel, five miles to the southeast at 1,000 feet, inbound for landing. Watsonville. That way, when you are by yourself, you're not asking yourself <laughs> a lot of questions. You just you just do it. Yeah. If, if somebody's yelling at you, you just say, stand by, you know, just leave me alone, bug out. <laughs> you, you've got to do this. This is hard. Yeah. They're doing a lot of ground vehicle work because uh, next month they're going to redo the runway, so that might curtail some of our flights. Yeah. All right, here's the 45, a river and freeway, so let's look out for everybody, and then you've got it figured out, so this should be all you. Whatever works for you, wind is calm. Right now remember, remember, you still have your trim on and you want to do your free landing as you get in tighter, you know, yeah. just a reminder. I'm off here. does not feel calm. You know, we had wind in Salinas. So let's see if you can pick up some wind socks on some of these. There's two right there by that red truck. So it's coming onshore a little bit. Yeah. There might be a flag around here somewhere, or the wind sock itself at, at the runway. Why do they put wind socks there? I think uh, they have the chemicals, and so that when the chemicals are leaching out, they want to know where they're going. Uh, that's, my, that's my guess. Playground. All right, here we go. Now, there really is no radio rules in an uncontrolled airport, so they could be flying all day with not even a radio. So, I would it's think to say entering the pattern and left, left, entering left traffic at 45, yeah. downwind 20. Well, we're not downwind yet, so we're on the left 45, 20, something like that, or inbound on the 45. Okay. Or you can say exactly, one mile, one mile to the east, southeast inbound, to zero, whatever. Watsonville traffic helicopter, zero, zero hotel, inbound for landing to zero, Watsonville. That's my location. That's <laughs> pretty general. Yeah. Inbound could be inbound and you're in Texas. 
All right, well, you'll get a better call now. I'll make a downwind call right about here. Yep. Walterville traffic, helicopter, Zero Sierra Hotel, left downwind two zero. Walterville. All right, midfield checks, and then we'll check for uh, traffic, Harvey. There's a lawnmower at Echo, I think. The taxiway that you're going to use looks pretty good, huh? Here. All right, what else? Harvey's full. Well, this is kind of a, you know, it's just a basic uh, over and back fly. We didn't do a whole lot, but I wanted you to get used to Salinas. Yeah, no, I certainly wanted to talk to a tower sooner yeah. than later, so. Be, be thinking about Monterey 2 and the approach procedure, so you're still climbing a wee bit on this downwind, so yeah. let's figure it out, make it happen. I'll go around those trees right. there. Watsonville traffic helicopter, zero, zero hotel, left base to final, two, zero, Watsonville. When you're signed off to go solo, uh, it's a good idea to go to a different cult uh, airport. To Salinas and just practice, practice, practice by yourself in a control tower. Never down right pedal. All right, take a look at this guy because uh, there's no control here. Act like you're by yourself. So we're going to go land where we picked up. So figure it out, make it happen. Don't bother anybody. I'm in for Bravo here, but... This is Charlie. That's Alpha, that's Charlie. there's no Bravo, I don't oh. think. Here comes a car, no factor. Now with calm wind, you don't want to come roaring down and bringing your bad air with you. You want to be gentle, gentle, gentle. Lower than this. Less than 30, less than 3, that's the rule. Whatever you want to monitor, you want to just yank, because sometimes you may not have that. Okay. All right, your aircraft, do whatever you want. So wind, wind is calm. pretty calm over here. One more quick stop. Should like, yeah. Look long. Right. We'll quick stop where, where, where we are. So you, you take charge here, walking slow, transition, looking long. That'll work. Yeah. Get control first. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Easy does it. Down right, don't climb. Down right, out. More out. I gently fix this. That was not as good. They were sitting more aft. Then you have to readjust here. So that, that could have been better. All right. All right. Boom, boom. Looks like the jump plane's not doing anything. Fly anything or anybody. The, that little blue and white thing we blew over, so they're not stable. And we'll kind of cheat on this side of the pad as opposed to that side, so if the planes go through here, they'll make it without touching us. you to 75. Then when you stable, we'll go friction, friction, and we'll hit the timer. Friction, right. friction, then you can uh, 
You can check your little checklist. All right, so two minutes. Throttle closed. Off. To feel with your hand, one hand, maybe your right hand, feel this. So right here. See you know how tight that is? Yeah. That's what's pulling your cord out. So we got to maybe under the seat where your battery or whatever is, we got to have more slack. Yeah. All right, so friction, friction. We're all buttered up here. Maybe you can turn some stuff off. Like carb heat and everybody. I have to pre-flight the 44 because I got a tour right now, and then I have another tour right after that. So <laughs> I, I kind of, uh, you know, there's nobody here but me. So I'm, right. I'm kind of in demand. I actually don't want to work this hard. I'd rather spend more time with you reviewing and, and getting ready for your solo and then your check ride. There's a lot of work we got to do, you know. There's uh, studying the emergencies and airspace and all these questions that are in the PTS. We have to do all that. Yep. And I, if I don't have time, then you could be flipping through the cracks. <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. But the one man gang here, so going to have to hope that you study a little bit. You must have because you got a hundred. But the oral's different. They don't. The oral, you got to remember things in your head. You don't have it in front of you on the on the multiple choice. Yeah. Yeah. If you got to run shortly after, then I'll probably text and your thoughts on uh, kind of planning the next few months. You know, what's a what's a good target? You know, for various parts. You know, nights. So night. Yeah, we got to get our night stuff. cross country, day cross country. So we're working toward your solo. Um, so we could do uh, we could do another flight and then a solo, perhaps. Then we're going to do a dual cross country, and the very next day, or the you're going to do the same route solo cross country. That's how it works. Something that's a click because you're you're kind of expediting your your skill level. You know, I mean, even this landing, we had trouble one time, you know, with the <laughs> pendular thing, and we don't have that anymore. So key and alternator and hits it. Here in '89, we were the only show in town, in and out. Wow. The roads were closed. Yeah, it's a good bushing. The roads were closed. Right. So they liked us then. We were bringing medical supplies in. 